Don't you hate it when you have to come out of retirement just to strike somebody down with lightning? Nerd soul. Late ill kid at one, y'all, so holding it down, bring that street geek and nerd soul. What is up, my people, today? Oh, yeah, coming with another wonderful episode of Talk Shop. I'm excited. We got a good one today. Oh, we're going to have some fun. We're going to talk about history. We're going to go back to the motherland, the, the mystical, you know what I'm saying, the magical, the fantastical is getting wrapped up with some awesome art, some great writing. And we're talking about Comic Republic's Amadioha. And the thing I love about this is we get to talk about some far off dimensions, fantastical lands, and that's what works here. There's tons of words that I cannot pronounce, I'm not even going to try to pronounce, but we open up with just this, this interesting uh, kind of like mystery of a backstory. They don't, they don't just lay it all out for us, but they give us an idea of the world that this man that we're following comes from. They, they give us this atmosphere that was created, this kind of like surrounding, you know, force that was, you know, at play and why he left that force, why he was like, hey, you know, I, I'm, I'm not there no more. I'm moving on. You know what I'm saying? I'm living a different life. And I like that. Here's why. We always talk about self-care, right? Self-care. You got to take care of yourself. That's a new thing. You know what I'm saying? Catchphrase. Self-care. Well, when do heroes get to self-care? When do heroes, how long is it too long to be a hero? When, when do you let it all go? When do you put it down? When do you decide, you know what? I want to do something different. I want to move on. I want another, another life. I want to be able to put this down. This is a burden that someone else can take now. I have taken, you know, I'm ready to pass the baton or even if there's no one there, I don't, you know, I can't do this no more. I want a life. You know, he wanted a, a woman, wanted a kid, and, you know, live off in some beautiful, I guess, sunsetting bliss. And um, for the most part, it works, but we don't see my dukes. And um, that sunset is a little further off than you think. And with that, we get a great back and forth, a great morning, a great slice of life with, of course, this young man and his daughter. And we're going back and forth with, like, getting dressed, eating the cereal, getting prepared to go, all of that good stuff. And we see that he has, for the most part, moved on. And that's what I like in this book. I like seeing sometimes just a slice of life. Like, what is this hero's life without this? What, how is it going to be? How does he, you know, kind of move on? How does he restructure and reallocate his resources, his time? Who does he spend his time with? Who does he love? And what does he move on to? So before the jump, the last thing I want to talk about is the art. We'll get into the writing in a second. The art is just, it's intoxicating for me. The second I saw this cover, it was sent to me. I saw this cover. I was like, I'm going to get, I'm, we going to get this joint a shot. There is so much power and how they play with color shadow in this, especially in the later pages when, you know, some, some stuff comes up and we'll talk about that after the break. But I love how the art here depicts our hero, our daughter, I mean, you know, the hero's daughter, you know, even the way it depicts like the dark villains, the dark ones that we get later on. It's, it's, man, it's really, really inviting and really engaging the way they just handle electricity, the way they handle, you know, just the, the physical form in these issues or in this issue. I'm, I'm loving it because this, of course, is a visual medium. You need the art to hook someone and you need the writing to keep them. And the art has definitely hooked me. Now, I've talked a little bit about the writing, but after the break, we're going to get into some more. And there's a couple more things that I think y'all should know about this book. But first, Cure Brand is going to help us pay them bills. Oh, yeah, check that link below. Hat shirts, hoodies, all that jazz. And once you find something you like, of course, cop it. So I'm going to start off with this. He who has forgotten his name has become a stranger in the forest. It's statements like that. It's writing like that that is mysterious, that is cryptic, that is definitely 
of another time, of another place, of another world that really opens up the mind to an imagination of a place that's near, but just far off. And that's what that's why I like the way they play it here. We never get any specifics about exactly who this man is, exactly who his friends and foes are, but we are wrapped into a mystery once we start off. And I gotta give that to the writing too. Being mysterious and cryptic around the book and also even with his own internal thoughts. The writers are doing a good job of keeping you at arm's length. You know, like just giving you just enough to be like, okay, what does that mean? How, okay, how is he thinking about this? What does he feel about this? And I think that lends to the power in this book. I think that lends to kind of like the intrigue of this book as I was reading, like, oh, I wanna figure out more, I wanna know more, I wanna see about this world before, about how he is now, who is he really? I think there's a lot more layers for us to peel back because we quickly go from what seems, seems to be a normal, natural uh, day to a huge explosion, this huge change in tone. And I love how stark it gets from humdrum morning, going to work, dropping you off at school or whatever. And then next thing you know, there's an explosion. We have all these kind of mystic arts being going on. These people are possessed, using them as vessels. There's tons of crazy that we get wrapped into extremely fast because we get a new young player in the game. We get to talk about some ceiling stone. We get all kinds of statements about what you can and can't be and what you can and can't do. And coming into my realm, things like that. So we get all of this juicy morsels of story to pull from right at the end. And we get a huge display of his power. And not only, of course, the display of the power, but also the whole mind frame and mindset of, look, we know you've been trying to live your life and be happy and move on, but you gotta come back. And I like that. I. I Yo, man, it, yo, somebody coming out of retirement, gotta, you know, gotta put the jersey back on. I'm digging it. So guys, holla at me. I'm gonna holla at you. Down in the comments, let's talk about Amadi Oha. I'm pretty sure I'm mispronouncing it, and I apologize for that. But with that said, this book has, uh, you know, I'm a new dad, so, well, I'm not new dad. I'm getting kind of like a me medium dad. But anyway, <laughs> you got a father-daughter relationship in there. Love seeing the dad thing. We got all kinds of mystic abilities, digging that. We got possessions and weird dark ones and stuff coming through, loving that. And I love a strong show of force. And also seeing someone who didn't leave heroism because they were just like, yo man, I don't care about nobody. They're like, yo man, it's time for me to move on. I have passed that. And seeing how people will respond and react to him when he returns, I'm definitely ready for that. So guys, let me know. Have you checked the book out? Have you read it? Have you not read it? Are you interested in reading it? Let's talk about that down below. And I'm gonna get out of here. But before I bounce, I gotta tell you guys to hit up thatnerdsoul.com. That's right, check me out right there. All my videos from the oldest, newest, latest, greatest, and all that. Then hit up shop.thatnerdsoul.com and pick yourself up a t-shirt player. Don't forget to get one for them play it. Then come back here, like, comment, subscribe, and share that nerd soul. That's right, there's no better way that I can show people that you like what you are watching. So LA, what up? VA, what up? RVA, you got my heart. And please be good to yourselves. Please be good to each other. And remember, whenever you leave the house, just be prepared that you might have to bring the lightning and the thunder. Peace.